for today's dish is pork sinigang. Pork sinigang is an all-time favorite Philippine food. It is a sour soup meal with pork and vegetables. So it is healthy and a flavorful broth. In a boiling water, let's put our pork belly goes into our deep cooking pan. Season it with salt and pepper and then bring it to boil for about 30 to 40 minutes. While waiting for our pork to be turned the rice, we're gonna prepare our ingredients. We have here two pieces of eggplant sliced into about half an inch thick. And now, our string beans, cut into 2 to 3 inches length. And six pieces of okra or lady fingers cut into halves. We also have our radish or labanos. We're gonna peel it and then we're gonna slice it into thinly. Two pieces of tomatoes in quartered cut. And of course, our onion, we're gonna cut it into quarter. Now let's check our meat if it's already tender. Let's continue to simmer it. Our ingredients, one packed onion, two tomatoes, six ladyfingers, string beans, radish, two eggplants, and the kangkong or water spinach separated the stalk and the leaves. Now that our pork is almost tender, we're gonna add our onions and the tomatoes and continue to boil for about 5 minutes.
now let's check again our meat wow it's already tender let's put our radish and we're gonna wait until it turns into translucent Let's add our sepal or string beans and have an interval spray about 2 minutes and then we're gonna put our eggplant. And now I'm going to use Sinigang mix. So this is my to-go recipe for a soury, soury flavor if tamarind pulp and gabi or taro is not available. So continue to stir it until it completely dissolves. So you can check the seasoning of the broth and adjust it if necessary. Let's add the stock of our water spinach. Just boil the pork until the meat is soft and tender. That's what my method of pork sinigang because I want the meat to be soft and tender. Now we're gonna dive in our lady fingers. So just continue to boil. This method makes it clear rich and flavorful sour broth. And the last but not the least is the leaves of our water spinach. So now it's done. Just cover it and turn off the stove. Ta da! Bottle it into bowl and now it's ready to serve.
today guys for more filipino recipes please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for more updates always remember that good food always makes a good food thank you so much for watching i'll see you in our next video have a good time bye